super excited. I gotta leave in about an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm just relaxing. Hey y'all, so I'm at school. I'm sitting in the parking lot. It is currently 919. Um, class starts at 9.35. Yes, I'm early. Yes, I am always early. Um, I'm sitting here drinking a Diet Coke. Um, I stopped and got a Diet Coke and a water on my way to class. So, I'm just sitting here chilling, preparing myself for the new year. There's the building I will be in. Look at all those stairs. But yes, that is my criminal justice building. So excited! Okay, so I'm currently in the bathroom in between classes. I just wanted to touch base. I just finished legal writing. It was really good, really informative. You know, we just went over the syllabus and stuff. Nothing really too big. Took a pre-grammar test. And now I'm getting ready for tour. <laughs> Um, I already have six assignments due, which is insane, but I'll, I'll get through it because they're due on Sunday and it's Wednesday, so I should actually be working on them right now, which I will be doing shortly. Also, sorry for the weird angle, but I'm trying to film with natural light, so I'm kind of in front of my window, <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. So without further ado, now that you know a little bit of my background and why I'm going to school and what I'm going to school for, let's hop into the what's in my backpack. This is my bag. It's stuffed right now. Um, it is stuffed for when I don't bring a purse to school with me. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depending on the size of my purse. Sometimes I'll just kind of like um, leave it in the car or whatever. So this is my bag. It is an Everest backpack. It is gray and black. I love neutrals um, and I got this from my college bookstore so nothing too fancy about anything um, it has five bajillion pockets um, but yeah we're just gonna jump right into it and I've had it for this is my second year I will have had this and it's holding up really well everything's really sturdy there's no snags nothing this bag is great and I don't plan on getting rid of it anytime soon so, okay, so this first pocket right here, it has a little zippy pocket right here in the front. I have some garbage already from when I opened my textbook in class. We're gonna ignore that. And then I have this little pink thing right here, which is a mini supply kit. Um, I'm a little extra, I'm not gonna lie. It has a stapler remover, a stapler, a hole puncher, scissors, tape, and a pencil sharpener everything you need and it's all pink which is my favorite color other than gray and so that just fits perfectly right down here in that little pocket and so there's this side pocket right here that i normally don't keep anything in and i don't it's just some like little papers but other than that there's nothing in there normally when I'm leaving class and I'm rushing, I'll throw my pens or whatever I'm writing with in this little side pouch right here. But other than that, I don't really keep a whole lot in there. The next pouch is this kind of pocket right here. It zips all the way down and folds over. And this is kind of like my purse compartment, I'd like to say. That's kind of what it is. So the first thing I'll just pull it out is my emergency bag this is normally always in my purse um if i'm leaving school at night i have mace i have hair ties i have a lighter i have um, clorox wipes i have feminine wipes i have deodorant wipes i have flushable wipes makeup removal wipes um altoids more hair ties pads tampons i have everything i have everything in this little pouch and this is all i need then I have my wallet, self-explanatory, kind of need your wallet. It is from Kohl's, pretty simple little bifold, nothing too fancy about it. Um, the next thing in here is this little pouch that came out of my Daisy Rose uh, 
Louis Vuitton inspired tote bag. And it comes with a little pouch just like the Louis Vuitton does. And in here I just keep headphones, another wipe, and um, my charger, and perfume is what I keep in here. Last, I have my emergency, all right, don't judge me. Don't judge me, okay? My emergency pencil pouch. This is the pencil pouch that goes in my purse for my planning and my bullet journaling and all kinds of fun things. So all my extra school supplies are in there. All of my favorite utensils to write with are in here. So if I'm, I don't know, cause I have a whole nother pencil pouch in here, but hey, you never know, you might need some more. And it has a totally different set of stationery than my other school pencil pouch does. So don't judge me, it's a no judgment zone, okay? Next pouch or pocket flips down all the way as well. Um, as you can see, I have an open thing of College Rule Reinforced Filler Paper. I put it in my binder today. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I take my notes <clears throat> in one of these. Um, I do not take it on loose leaf paper. Um, and keep it in a binder because I feel like it will just get lost and it won't get lost with me because I'm anal But it'll just get you know, it won't look as neat and as organized in my mind as if it were in one of these little simple books or whatever so the uh, this paper is for if we have to Do work in class and turn it in in class because I hate ripping pages out of this because then it gets the little stuff on it and I just no 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 so while I have it out I have spiral notebooks I have two of them in here one is in my binder for legal writing class so I can't I, that'll come out later but this is my extra one just in case one of them runs out of paper because they're relatively small they're one subject so um if I run out of paper or anything in one, I can just go ahead and jump in the other one and I have to worry about it. So I keep an extra one with me. And the whole theme is really kind of neutral colors, except for my binders, which you'll see in a minute. Um, my folder for torts class is what this is. Um, it's just a simple little black folder. Um, it has no prongs in it. Just And I keep assignments um normally i would keep my syllabi in there but i have it in my binder this year we're seeing how that goes um but basically anything the professor gives us i'm putting it in here okay next i have more filler paper but this one is graph paper and i like to write on this sometimes instead of regular notebook paper only because it i feel like it keeps my writing cleaner so that's why I have that. I haven't opened it yet though. So the last and final pocket is where all the good stuff is. Oh, wait, no, I forgot two things in the front pocket. I thought I was wondering where my pencil pouches were. So I have two matching pencil pouches. All right, so I have two matching pencil pouches. They say they have little sloths on them, if you cannot tell. Pardon my nails, because they're ratchet. Um, but yeah, they say, Namaste all day is my torts book. <laughs> torts makes me very nervous. I've heard mixed feelings about torts. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this is one of the two classes I'm taking this semester. Yes, I'm only taking two classes. Yes, it is going to take me forever to graduate. But I got kids. So, I don't know what y'all want me to do. But torts it is. It's a big old thick book. And to go with that book is... Ooh, okay. Is my torts binder. Yes, I'm still a child. I get pretty binders. 
I'm in college and I'm 27 and I'm a mother and I get pretty binders. But, ooh, there's my torts book. That's pretty much it. There's my syllabus on the front. Now you see some PowerPoints. <laughs> this is pretty much it. It's a binder. And it's gold and black and white and neutral and gray. And I love it. And it makes me happy. So we got it. Next is my composition book. This is what I take notes in in torts. Um, I actually will take... The reason why I got little notebooks instead of big ones is because for number one my torts professor he prints out all the powerpoints and so sometimes i take notes on the actual powerpoints but if he says something that's not on a powerpoint i will write it in here and see i even use my sticky notes in here too so torts next book is the beloved Scrivener. Yeah, mouthful. This is my legal writing book, one of them. Um, we are working out of this one for the first half of the semester and my other textbook for the second half, the Scrivener. This is apparently the holy grail of legal writing. So meet my new life partner, the Scrivener. All right, last. But not least, I'll pull both of them out. Because that's done. Whoop. All right. So I have my legal writing spiral. Same as the little black one. It's just a little white and black one. Super basic. Um, I do all my pre-writing. Like all my, um, all my first drafts will be in here of everything. Um, cause I, I'm a writer. I prefer to write it out instead of type it out. And then after I write it and edit it, then I will type it out. But this legal writing, I'm sure I'll go through that one pretty quickly. So this is my legal writing binder. It's really cute. It has little golden eyes on it. Excuse my nails, little, um, pink hearts. It's in the same color scheme family. Um, but it just has like a little dash of pink in it. So I really like it. Um, so that's my binder. I have this one set up better than I have my torts one set up yet. Cause I don't know how I want to set it up. But the first thing I have in here is my folder for this class. These are the assignments I've already had due. Then I have my, um, syllabus and um her formatting tips and her rules and guidelines for the class and then i have all my notes that we're going forward with for the first for part one of my semester so yeah that's all that's in there and then like i said i put paper in the back so that was what was in my backpack i hope you guys enjoyed it now i gotta put all this shit back in it and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.